welcome to the trilogy, The Last Dance. I'm with Huaman, aka The Silent Explorer. For those of you who are new, he's deaf so he can't speak. Tonight, we're exploring an abandoned shopping mall here in Qingdao, China. However, we're not alone. Huaman has brought some friends along. I am Xu. I'm uh, one two one one zero. <laughs> so we have three three. We <laughs> got <laughs> some. I'm Tommy Rosetti. Cool, cool, nice. Okay, so it's like a school trip. There's quite a few of us tonight. Um, it's around 10 p.m. So let's begin. Let's go. China, a country known for its futuristic skylines, holds a hidden side unseen by many in the West. With rapid city development and economic shifts in the country, abandoned wastelands have been left behind. Tonight, we're in the northeast of China, in the city of Qingdao, to explore the Marina City shopping mall. Once a luxury destination, it closed its doors in 2019. Now, it's frozen in time and off limits to the public. However, despite the risk of being caught by Chinese authorities, we're going inside to report firsthand on what lies within. Join us as we explore the abandoned Marina Mall. This is the only way in. Still a little gap. Closing the secret door. We're gonna have to watch our footing as we're going down. Shit, these men are prepared. They've got knives to cut open doors. They're not messing around. It seems like on the other side of the car park. This is here, entrance. Let's head left. Hi right, guys, we're in an underground car park just trying to find our way into this shopping mall. Security camera. Look at that. H&M Zara. So you know this shopping mall is quite old because H&M isn't even in China anymore. So this was abandoned back in 2018. Apparently the shopping mall. So if you look here, we're currently on B3. I'm gonna go all the way to the top. There's five different floors, or six. Look at this, you've even got help written on the wall. Welcome. It says welcome in yeah. Chinese. Okay. Welcome and help. Which one? Okay, so it looks like we've found a, a cinema. Alright guys, we're in a Chinese cinema. And we even have Kung Fu Panda. Oh, is this the ice cream? No, it's not. Hey, hi guys, it's not a movie. It's not a cinema, it's actually an ice rink. Wow, you still see some of the snow. We can go on? Fucking hell, look at this, the abandoned ice rink. Who made a light? And look, all the, the snow must be artificial, I guess. But now we're currently on an abandoned ice rink. So you can imagine kids would have come here to do some skating or something like that. Fucking hell, I even got some ball. Look how big it was, and people have been waiting over here. <laughs> Play football in a abandoned, abandoned shopping mall. Look at this, is it even cold? Let's have a feel. It's like dust. It's like dust, it's not even like proper sand, if you can see that. It's like fairy dust. we yeah, got McDonald's up there. So all sorts of stuff in the shopping mall. Look at this. This is what they'd wear. Look how 
sharp they are. Golden horse. Fucking hell, guys. And this American box. Okay, I don't smoke. It's just it. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Imagine lighting one up in here. A couple of massage chairs. Let's go. Right. Where are we going? In here? Straight right. through. Oh, so many. Fucking hell. You can go in there. Yeah? Alright, let's have a look. This guy speaks pretty good English, eh? Got all sorts of stuff. Helmets. Leftover Starbucks. Look at that. These were been the place where they get all the skates. Fucking hell. These guys. Kids shoes. How creepy is that? I imagine how many people would have worn these. It's left here. They could have like given these away or something. But look at them. Just piles and piles of empty sk skate shoes in here. You know, kids gloves. This would have been all the families who would have come here to do competitions and things like this. Have you just done that? You got a spray can. Graffiti artist. Smells. He's got his spray can. Oh, look at that! How scary that is! Whoa! Fucking hell! Heads of these people. Imagine wearing one of these. Oh, it's eating a trophy. Imagine walking around with that on your head. Ah, <laughs> be super spooky, eh? Mine is kind of. Oh, I don't want to touch it. It's, it's filthy. Oh, we guess this is the snow making machine. Oh, really? Ah. Probably. Yeah, it looks like it. I, yeah, it's pretty cold in here. So this must be the machine to generate all the snow he's sinking. I won't be surprised. And then more pictures of the old staff and things that would have been here. Old hockey sticks, so he must have played ice hockey here as well. Spray can again. What's he in the drawer? <laughs> Here, man, some leave his mark. You've got one here, a black one. Imagine, subscribe. So, <laughs> join some sunflowers. Yeah, look at all the shops that used to be here. All the Western brands. The only one not here anymore is that one, H&M. I was exiled from China quite a few years ago. Yeah, look at all these. Got McDonald's here, Pizza Hut, Adidas. This used to be the only mall here. Yeah. And then there's Hisense next door. Yeah. And, and another few around Open. this place. And then this got less, yeah. yeah right. And also COVID, right? Um, no, this died before COVID. Did it? Died before COVID? Um, this died between 2015. 2015? And 20, uh, started and it 
totally shut up at yeah. uh, 2019. Yeah. Just behind you says, I don't want to die. <laughs> Just one voice. Yeah. Where's the homeless people? We met. Oh, can we speak to them? If they're oh, okay. Maybe they're sleeping. Um, maybe he's, if he's sleeping, we can leave him. Greetings. <laughs> he sleeps in here? We saw him here, I thought. Oh, he ran away? Maybe he lives in a tent. Before our journey into the mall, we found some homeless people living in tents whilst trying to find a way in. In China, it's rare to find people sleeping rough. Okay. Oh shit. This is where the homeless sleep. Okay, fun. That's where some of the homeless sleep might live in their tents. I don't know if you can see me. But in China, they always say there's no homeless people, right? Um, not much. Yeah. But there are with some of you. Really? Um, not, not very much. Did you know them? Uh, no. No. We oh. just meet. Oh. Why the place is um, not many people here because this oh. is already so, dead. So the homeless stay here? Yeah, you're right. Wow. But they don't come in. Yeah, yeah. Inside there's still maintenance, there's a janitor. Is it? Look after this Yeah, one. right. Uh, about one people, uh, one person. Why don't they go to yeah. somewhere warm? This is so cold. Uh, outside, uh, this is... Very warm? If they go to, for example, Subway, yeah. uh, they're not available at night. Oh, uh, this place. Don't care. The, the police didn't come here. Right. Okay. Okay, guys, we found ourselves at KFC. Look at this, guys. This would have been the KFC back in the day in the shopping mall. Some of the old menu. Look at that, spicy chicken burger, nuggets, and the kids menu. This is where the counter would have been. People serving up all different food. The KFC, the menu would have been here. Yeah, bloody hell. Look at this. It's been well there. Things would have been stores, look at that. Old KFC box. What is that? Is that like a toy? <laughs> Even a note. Wow, How this. to make beverage? <laughs> How to <laughs> make drinks. KFC? Yeah. <laughs> the drinks, everything you need. So all there tells you what to do. Cut it. Cut the lemons. The drinks. Even here. How to prepare the chicken. So it's stealing Colonel Sanders' recipe tonight. The magic ingredient for KFC. Wow, this must have been the, the area for the deep fryers, the chips. Where's her man? He's probably stealing some nuggets. Look at this, Colonel Sanders' office. Where's he gone? <laughs> oh. Oh. Is this the freezer? That's probably where they keep all the frozen goods. These big, huge boxes. What's he doing? The fire extinguisher? Who man? Who man's uh, lighting up the fire extinguisher? What a, what a nutter. So if you ever wondered what a KFC looks like, in China, can't you give you an idea? It's so empty and it still has this alarm noise going off. Yeah, look at this fish. This must have been where they used to get the local groceries. Usually most shopping malls have the supermarket at the back of the store. That's, that must be where we're at now. <laughs> Even got a cactus living here. 
There's no more fish. Got who am I? Many people play with fire in extinguishers. Really? Oh, so that's why it's the dust. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fucking hell. That's why it's so dusty. That's why every journey me and Huaman have done, there's been dust on the floor. <laughs> so these are the proper Qingdao explorers. <laughs> we do this quite often, I think, so they're, they're pretty experienced. Cinema. Cinema. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Head to the cinema, guys. <laughs> we're going, we're going up. They're going one way, we're going another. Alright, let's go, let's go. Do you, you guys do this all the time? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're heading up to the cinema room. So many flights of stairs to climb. Oh, my legs are burning. Walking up these stairs. Cinema. Cinema room, let's go. Hi guys, we're about to watch a movie. Let's see what they're showing. Just a trick. 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 Look at all these Chinese movies they're showing here. Cartoons coming soon. These are probably out by now. I have another list. You can take this. Oh, you think? Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, shit. Yes. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Buds. Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. Given this headlight. <laughs> These dolls and things. Uh, Jackie Chan for you. Jackie Chan? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Jackie Chan doll. And him. And the snowman. So guys, let's go check out this place. These cinemas and they're proper soundproof as well. So you can imagine guys how many people would have sat here with the popcorn and things, watching movies, all sorts of stuff. There's enough people would have walked down these steps, watched a movie, and now just covered in cobwebs. Bloody hell guys. Look at that. Did you see any CCTV? Nah, can you? Did you see? Nah, nah, do you? No, I didn't see. Maybe one here, there. What? That. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Nothing. Is it on? No, no, no. no, no. Oh. Okay. You can go in this room? Uh, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, there's a bad tradition in mm. Chinese. <laughs> they like to play with fire ex extinguishers. Oh, okay, now I know oh, why he's, he's wearing the mask. So this is where new films and things would come out to take them 
with these rooms around the back. This is what behind the scenes of a movie theater is like. Play the films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought it was like a big room. It's just like an open tunnel. All right, okay. So all the screens and show the movie. Yeah, projector here. Yeah, they'd have a big projector. And it might wow. be the 3D, I guess. Yeah, like a 3D. Yeah, yeah. And look, yeah, you have the 3D glasses. And then they'd open this. Will it open? Uh, no, this is for. Oh, just closing it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can't even see the. So dusty, you can't even see anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, got the old film lying around. Um, these are the commercials. Ad, ad, ad. Oh, the 80s. Ad. Yeah, 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 right. This is a uh, clothing store. Is it a clothing store commercial? Yeah, 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 right. So play it on this. You could take this to a shop, right? And they can make yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah. no one would buy something like, yeah. you know, ad, ad. This old Chinese advertisement guy, an old film. Look at that. Right here. What's that? Yeah, you something really bad. <laughs> 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 Who man? Another fan of the fire extinguishers. The Sonic Explorer. Oh, oh is there a smoke up the thing? Oh, fuck. Oh, you can, you can work on it. Oh, that's why they're so fucking smoking. <laughs> smoking up there. Smoking up the screen. Oh, right, now I know why he's bought the gas mask. Can't go to the roof. Go to the roof. All right, let's check it out. Okay, we're gonna head up here. These guys are just smoking them. All right, guys, we made it to the roof. Wow. So it's a cold, wet evening here in Qingdao. And we made it onto the top of this, the roof of the of the building. What can you see? Oh, this is hard to climb. Is that the neighbor? Yeah, I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, same. <laughs> We go up here. Bloody hell, this roof feels really brittle. Fuck me. You wanna swear? <laughs> I'm gonna be trying good. Can you swap Hey guys, let's head back down. See more of this. Abandoned shopping mall. Yeah. Ice rinks to all sorts of stuff. Oh man, jumping over the Silent Explorer, jumping around, doing parkour. <laughs> Does this be one? Wow, look at this place. This is level one? Yeah, this is B1. B1. Why don't we go up this way? You, you okay? Is it? Tell me. Um, the oh, is it? Or we can go through the stairs. Let's go through the stairs, yeah. Um, uh, let go. Oh, yeah. Up we go then. Let's go. More stairs. Is that open? All these 
そうさ。もうこれ最後からやれるよ。楽しみですけど、やっぱり。ああ。どうですか。Looks like we're going to have to go from the top and make our way down. We could have、uh, gone through the middle, but it's barricaded. So it would be easier to go through the stairs. Cinema. Wow. Look how big the shuffle is. It's all the way down here, so many floors. <laughs> I found a way into this hair salon. You go, you go. You first, you first. I still got people's hair laying around on the floor. Maybe take your bag off, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. And sell it for maybe、mm, two or three hundred RMB. Really? <laughs> Expensive souvenir. You good? Alright,、oh, guys, time to get a fresh haircut. <laughs> what? What? This means、uh, maybe billionaire or rich man. Very、oh. rich. Rich man haircut. Rich man. New rich man haircut. A rich man haircut. Shiny、yeah. people. Not very rich anymore. All、Shiny、abandoned. Haircut. Oh, okay. 128 for a haircut. If you want to get a fade, do your hair. 128. So about $15 an hour. $20. $20, is it? Yeah. For a haircut. Look at this, guys, just bottles and bottles of hair salon products left over. Hundreds of dollars worth of shampoo just left. Not even,、uh, not even taken away. Some of this stuff's not even been opened. So you can imagine what it could have been like here. A place to wash your hair. <laughs> he's, he's like he's messing around with the water. <laughs> What's that? The tea? Yeah, lips and tea. Yeah, yeah it's like an English. Is that from UK? I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got like Chinese writing on it. Yeah, Chinese. Something <laughs> opened. We thought we had been spotted. I left the camera running and kept our lights down as we went to check out who was there. We heard something. Probably just a homeless or something. Oh, I see. This guy is, is a place where the homeless are sleeping. That's why I hear those noise, that scraping, telling us to mind out. Okay, so I'm gonna head down and check out floor two. So 
it's not blocked off. Let's make our way down. Right, let's go. As our journey continued, we delved into the main part of the mall. Most of the stores had already been torn down or boarded up. Muji store, let's have a look. This Muji store was one of the very few still intact. Every empty store we found gave us an idea on how popular this mall could have been. This establishment once flourished and would have been filled with shoppers. Now it's trapped in the past, left to decay. Hi. Let's head down to floor one. We saw signs of Zara and H&M. So we found the last, the last H&M in China. The final one you will ever see. This virtual cancelled in China. So this is the final H&M we'll ever see in this country. In this abandoned shopping mall. Nike and H&M are among major clothing retailers facing a backlash in China after expressing concern about allegations that Uyghurs are being used as forced labour in the production of cotton. As we went further into the mall, we stumbled upon a forgotten supermarket. Its doors were locked. Using some tools, we tried to get them open. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking that was dusty. Oh, this would have been an old supermarket. Chandeliers just falling from the wall. Yeah, so this is where people have got their fresh produce. Get an idea how big it is. Got this old cardboard just laying in there. All the posters, all the stuff on the walls. Look at this McDonald's sign. This abandoned Chinese McDonald's sign. Yeah, it stinks in there. It smells like old vegetables. So, like meat and fuck knows. It's probably the worst smelling room we've been in. The place has not been aired out. The floor is kind of like sticky. Oh, guys, this goes on for miles and miles. I feel like tonight I've hardly even scratched the surface with this mall. Behind all those closed doors, there's a story of what life was like years and years ago. As we managed to find another way out, the night wasn't over yet. Surprisingly, stores nearby still had people working in them. Just as we were about to leave, we stumbled upon an unlocked door. Sure, KTV, where people sing songs. <laughs> yeah. We made it to a KTV. Yeah. This is a place where people come to drink, sing songs and dance with random ladies. So check it out too, man. Seems like he's, he wants a pint. Wow, this whole area is just so derelict. Like, there's a few shops that are still open on the top floor. But most of it is just completely just left to shreds. I mean, look at this. I can imagine there's like still a party going on with all the uh, drinks lying around still. I just have one last piss up and just left the place like a tip. And let most of the decorations you see are from Christmas time. Bottles of beer lying around. Yeah. You get these like VIP cards, people who love to get pissed and drink with their mates. Let's have a look. So once, of, um, once they had a few drinks, they come into these little KTV rooms. All sorts, look at this. Yeah, all more the same, look at that. These big rooms. Up 
perhaps a dice game so you'd put some dice under here that's what we have here wow yeah I can imagine how many people come in here it's filled with seats and seating it would have been a huge flat screen TV it even says happy birthday on the top so we rented these out for the birthday <laughs> some instruments drinking beer and eating food all in these rooms it's that party room VIP <laughs> This is a little bar upstairs and some kind of function. That's who found. So look at all these cut things here. The Chinese always play. What's he found? Condoms. Oh, he has, he has as well. <laughs> it's just some old fucking Johnny's. And the condoms even got uh, in the water bottle. Don't touch it, we get fucking chlamydia. <laughs> oh, fucking used condom, beautiful. The one up, four other. All sorts of shit. Yeah. Man wants to look. Don't touch anything in here. Yeah. Kind of get an idea what happens in these sort of places. Bring some women in and hire out some. Girls, I'm sick of you. Yeah, this is the one place you don't want to touch anything. This is for playing dice. Yeah, the dice games. Nice one. <coughs> See for the next one. Mission accomplished. Priest. <laughs> In a country where information is limited to the West, and with the help of the Sun Explorer and his friends, I felt we've been able to show the abandoned underworld hidden in China. Before our journeys with the Sun Explorer, I couldn't have imagined what these derelict structures would have been like, or what the people would have been like. Now I know the size and scale of what lies within, and the locals are pretty cool too. See you next time. Right, peace guys, we did it! Oh, <laughs>